Hello, book lovers. So we are live at the library to bring you dragon egg sugar cookies. I'm wearing my Hogwarts shirt because, of course, Hagrid, dragon eggs, plus some great kids' books, like Where's My Dragon's Egg? So I have got here a bowl of royal icing, as you can see. I'm going to show you how we color it, then how we bag it, and let's start making these dragon eggs. They come together really quickly and they're super fun to do. All you're going to need is either popsicle sticks or you can even use a butter knife. Anything with just a rounded tip on it, okay? So I decided for my dragon eggs today that I was going to do a little bit of teal and green because I'm loving teal right now. So let's start with two drops of teal. We'll mix that up. This is gel coloring, so it's very strong color, but it doesn't have a lot of taste to it. When you use the liquid color, like what you get at the grocery store, that actually requires a lot more food coloring in order to get this bright of a color. So that's a little tip for you. The best food coloring is a food powder which you can get from the Sugar Art. I believe that Now Your Cooking might carry some as well. That uses the least amount of food dye. Look at that beautiful teal color. All right, now, I want it to be a little bit more than just blue, so I'm gonna add one drop of green. Fun stuff about doing colors is you sometimes feel like a mad scientist. One drop. Let's mix it up and see what it changes its color to. You can even not mix it all the way and have a little bit of a marbled effect, but I'm gonna mix this all the way up and have a single color today. I have done these dragon eggs with a marbled effect though, and it is very, very cool looking. So there we go, guys. How quick and easy was that? So now, let's bag this up. As many of you probably got in your kit, if you got a kit, you guys all got a piping bag, a disposable one, which is really handy to have. Let's get one out of here. I buy my piping bags by the hundreds because I go through so many. So you're not going to cut the bottom yet. This one we don't need a tip for. Next week's class, we'll use a tip just so that we can show different ones. Now here's a fun trick for you. Do your typing bag like this and it makes it much easier to put your icing in without it making a big mess. And we want the soft toothpaste icing for this. You want it to hold its shape a little. If you wanted a to uh, icing that would make it super smooth, you would add just a little bit of water to it until when you ran your spatula down the middle of it, it would come back together and get smooth on top. And that should take about 10 to 20 seconds to do. You don't want it to be so fast that if you run your spatula down, immediately it's flat. That's a little bit too loose and it will just spill right off your cookie. All right, we'll put this to the side and let's start decorating this egg. If we have enough icing, I am going to do two eggs and show you two different techniques. All I'm gonna do is tie off the top, like this. There we go, that way it doesn't spill all over the place. Now I'm gonna cut off the tip. You want to cut off about that much. The bigger your hole, the bigger the scales will be on your dragon egg. The smaller the hole, the smaller the scales. So it is up to you how big of scales you want on your dragon egg. I'm gonna use popsicle sticks for this one 
because I just love to use my popsicle sticks. I've got water in case I need to wipe them and I've got a paper towel in case it gets too dirty. What I'll do is I'll actually dampen the paper towel on just a corner. There we go. You ready? So here's what we're going to do first. Flip your egg upside down. I know, right? Why do we do that? Because your scales are going to go down on the egg. We're going to make just dots like that. And it's okay if you have a little peak in there. That's fine. Because then we are going to take, I'm going to use the big one to show you first, and then we'll use the smaller one. You take your stick and you pull it down. Just like that. Put it right on the center and pull it down. Now I'm gonna wipe this and then we're going to make another row of dots. You're gonna want to do them, some of them will be right on top of the one before, that's okay, but try to get them offset just like that. And I'm gonna do big one again. Go a little past the middle and pull down. See? Now, if you find that you're getting too much on there, just wipe it off and continue pulling down. How easy and fun is that? And look, you're already starting to see the scales of your dragon egg. So let's do another row here. And isn't this color gorgeous for a dragon egg? I just love the green and teal. It reminds me of Hagrid's baby dragon. Now, this time, let's do the small one. And I'll show you how it makes a slightly different sized scale. I'm gonna wipe it off. Now the reason you wipe it off is because you don't want it to build up on the front and ruin your scales. Let's do another row. And we're definitely gonna have enough icing that I can show you a whole other technique for doing eggs, which is super fun. And look at this. This is the reason why we do it a soft toothpaste consistency. You still have the scales without them going flat into each other. Now, if you wanted to do this the best way possible, you would do a row, pull them down like this, and then let them sit for like 30 seconds to a minute before doing the next row. But as long as your icing isn't super runny, you can do it like this and it will be just fine. I personally, when I'm doing these at home, I will have six or seven eggs probably. So I go through, do a row on all of them. And then by the time I go back to the first cookies, they've already set a little bit. As you get to the top of the egg, I usually do just a little bit smaller of a scale because it's a little bit smaller up top. There we go, getting close. I also do a little bit smaller dollops of royal icing. Now, you guys don't have to make dragon eggs. You can do anything with your royal icing. I have done butterflies with them. I have done dessert cookies, like funny little donuts. There's all sorts of different ways that you can use royal icing. 
on a cookie to make a different book themed one. And I cannot wait to see your creations and your ideas with this. If you do make dragon egg cookies, definitely post it in the group, let us see it. Or you can even tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Have your parents just tag me and I will share it to my stories. There we go. Now, at the top here, this part gets a little bit tricky. You just want to be very patient. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make sure that this is really clean because we want the cleanest looking scales at the top. We're going to pull it in a little bit more. And there we go, guys, look at that, a dragon egg. Now, we get to decorate this a little bit. At home, what I do is I will let this dry completely overnight and then I will paint on it. But since I'm not doing that here, I'm gonna show you different ways to add different colors to it. I just have some luster dust here, but you can pick up at Joann Fabrics, Now You're Cooking, or online. I'm gonna put a dry brush in it and then tap some gold on it. And that will give it a little bit of sparkle and shine because dragons love gold. Let's get a little bit at the bottom. And there we go. The first dragon egg is done. And we definitely have time and enough icing. So let me show you how you can make another type of dragon egg that is a little bit faster, but still just as much fun. I'm going to very carefully move this over to a paper towel so it can start to dry. Grab another egg or whatever shape. And this is something fun, especially if you have smaller children that don't have the dexterity to do the scales. This is another fun way to do eggs that they can be involved with. And this is fun for Easter eggs um, too. It doesn't have to be dragon eggs. I'm gonna do a nice thick layer all over the cookie just like this. Just like that. I'm gonna fill in this a little bit. Make sure it's covered pretty well. Now, what I'm going to do is use my knife and just smooth it just a little bit because this is a thicker frosting. You could use a hybrid for this. I prefer a stiffer peak for this particular method. So, smoothing it, you don't have to get it perfect. That's the thing, you don't want this one perfect because we're gonna add texture to this one. We're gonna use the gold dust again now. Just tap it with your brush or you can let them put it on their fingers and blow it on. That's also a fun thing to do. Now, we are going to use a piece of parchment paper that I brought along with me. I'm going to crinkle the parchment paper and then open it back up. I'll cut it so it's a little bit bigger than the egg. And I will show you guys, I'll do a video tomorrow of taking the parchment paper off of the egg so that you can see what it does with that. We'll do it this way. And then you're gonna lightly put it on there and just push down a little bit. You wanna make sure that it's pushed down all over the egg so that you can see the icing and this will give your egg such a fun texture. Leave it on there 24 hours. That's it, that's all you have to do. 
You can do different color royal icings in there. You could do all sorts of different powders or even just one color and let your kids decorate it afterwards or you can decorate it afterwards. We're gonna let that sit on there for 24 hours. Tomorrow, I'll do a video where I peel it off. So satisfying. And you'll see how it's got a crinkled looking egg texture all over it. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions about royal icing or sugar cookies or how to make these, please send me a message, type a question in the comment section, and I would love to answer your questions. Next week, we are going to do Very Hungry Caterpillar Cupcakes. Super fun. We're gonna, I'll post a recipe for cake in the group and buttercream in the group, and we will put those together. And start thinking now about what book we're gonna do for the last week. We're gonna narrow it down to two books, and then you guys get to vote on your favorite book. So let us know what your favorite books are right now. I hope you all have a great night. Bye.